Hey there, folks. Richards here with a first look on uh, Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. Uh, it was free with PlayStation Plus uh, like two days ago, and um, and still is this month. And it is available on several other platforms. Um, for the ones who are not known, Harry Potter, of course, the uh, magical world, uh, has an, has its own sport, Quidditch, which is basically rugby slash football slash soccer, depending on how you call it, uh, on broomsticks. Uh, there's more nuance to it than that, but that's the best comparison. Comparison I can make without going Jesus into sorry. much detail um, and the game is out now uh, on consoles and PC to play in single-player and multiplayer so um, I've played a bit of the uh, of the single-player and then one or two matches in the multiplayer and this is my these are my thoughts right now I'm not definite but I can say I'm positively surprised I am uh, intrigued and I am enjoying it uh, graphically good looking game nothing too spectacular um it isn't graphically uh, this is a masterpiece but it works brilliantly for what it does uh and a, a bit of a comical relief to it so that's great um going to the beginning uh you start off in the tutorial with a uh, tutorial uh, at the burrow uh, from the weasleys uh, together with uh hermione and uh, harry um and you go through all the several different positions that you can play which are uh, in no particular order that is um the chaser beater keeper and the seeker um during playing this you can you get used to the broom you get used to the movement do mind you gotta get used to more because it is tricky and it is a bit fast paced but so be it um you go through that uh and then you start doing some practice matches after every little bit adding new positions sorry to the uh, game at that point um do keep in mind you will have to play more than one position very important we'll come back to that later but don't focus on just one position. Don't go just chaser, don't go just keeper, don't go just seeker or just beater. That will not work. At least two, preferably three, if you can, play all four. Anywho, um, after you get through the tutorial, um, which you can, by the way, customize your entire team yourself through that. You can make your up your entire team, race, gender, um, um, uh, colors, uh, hair, outfit, everything. You don't have a lot available to you yet um, if you're looking at the gear, but you can unlock that later on. But you can customize your entire team the way you want it. There's also skins from the heroes, as they call it, like Ginny, Harry, Ron, which you can, uh, you get Ginny, you can buy or earn the rest. I think it's mostly buy though, because there's a lot of cosmetics you can buy in this game. Um, I personally found it much more interesting to make my own team. Uh, if you, for example, also, if you uh, linked your uh, Harry Potter uh, account, so the fan account, which is the um, Wizarding Worlds one, you get uh, an outfit connected to your house that you got on there. And if you bought um, the other Harry Potter game, remind me of the name later it's it's right there i forgot it um you also get some in-game items connected to that if you have uh, it linked um anyway uh then you uh, go into the uh, uh to the full game uh you can customize more you can choose your kind of broom uh, there's one options don't know why the ones come in just yet i haven't found it yet maybe somewhere later on um broom trails uh, again a lot of stuff you can get it you can emote so single player part uh you got several cups you start off with the weasley cup which is the tutorial then you have the gryffindor cup and you have several others um you can lose that you have no do-overs so if you lose you have to possibly start right over because you have the Qualification first, you can lose that, not a worry. But then you have the actual brackets, you lose one of those, you get knocked out, gone, you have to try over again. So keep that in mind, very important. Um, but it works well. Um, the Gryffindor, I, I, I spent a bit on the um, Harry Potter, the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup, and it works fine, it's fun. You fight against the teams you know from the books and the movies, so very entertaining. Um, but then you have the multiplayer, which is actually what this game is about the most, I, I believe. Um, you do not uh, in the single player campaigns, you control the entire team yourself and you switch over between all the positions. So once so very important to actually play your position. 
Then you have multiplayer. And uh, I have to pull in a rule change that they put into the game uh, right now. The snitch is only worth 30 points and it doesn't end the game. Very important. They, they did that so that it is an actual interesting game to play. Because uh, otherwise it would be like snitch, gone, we won. Uh, nobody would play the rest of the game, actually. Anywho. Um, so that means that the snitch, the seeker is important. But the chasers and the bludgers and the beaters and everything is just as important. Because a snitch can win you the game. But it can also just give you more points. And the other ones still win the game because they have more points. Here's the thing, if you play multiplayer, you play a duo two positions. You do not play just seeker, you do not play just chaser. You play a chaser keeper, which you can switch out during the match. You can play a chaser bludger, uh, beater, sorry, uh, also switching out in the match. And you can play chaser seeker. Everybody plays chaser, but they also have a secondary position, which is just as important. And that's where the multiplayer shines or falls. If you have a good team with you, which you, by the way, can play with your friends, you can party up and you can make them the team. So that would be awesome because you know when you can voice chat and you know what everybody does. If you do not have that, you're at the mercy of randoms, which can be a good thing. They can play as well as anybody can play together. You do not need voice chat. You can call for a pass and everything. It works. But if you have a team where somebody is a keeper and a chaser and they don't play the keeper then you're at the mercy of the, com of the computer at that point for the keeper which might work but it works less often if you have a person that doesn't play the beater position it works less often if you have a person that does not play the seeker you're screwed or if they play the seeker badly let's let's be honest uh because yes it's only only 30 points but it's still a difference between oh we're tied 670 to 70 and the and the seeker gets a snitch and then it's done um i've played at least one match where uh, our seeker didn't catch any snitch which is possible but we were playing we and the other team were playing very hard at the normal chaser game which which made us like tight ish points wise well actually no the normal points we were ahead like at the start then the cha then the uh, keeper came in they were tied we got ahead keeper and then two scores from the from the chasers and it was done not not two four but anyway um it was easier for them easier um to just play defense and let the chaser the seeker do the work um not saying that's what happened, because it's still randoms, but our seeker didn't do what he needed to do. Or she, or they, I don't know, I don't care. Um, and it might be that they're not good enough, that's a possibility. You also don't really have to have an idea what they're doing, because you they're, they're doing their own thing around the match, and you're just not paying attention to them at that point. Um, but if you have a team that works together and plays their positions well, it's a great match. Doesn't even matter if you win, it's fun. But if you have a, 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 at least one position that doesn't get played well, it shifts the balance completely. Also, don't play a freaking beater and focus on the keeper separately only. Don't be like that. Don't. That's just, that's just cowardly. Seriously. Play the game. Play your chaser. Play your beater when necessary. Just play the game, please. Uh, all in all, I do think this game has a lot of potential. Uh, all, though I have to be honest, it's also going to be a very heavy uh, player base, player count um, thing. Because if there's not enough players that are going to do this, yeah, it's just a no-go. So uh, I hope the community grows. Because uh, I really, really want to be playing this game more often. Um... Anywho, uh, you might see me make some other videos or live streams about it once in a while because it is a fun game to play in between. Um, and I'll be uh, leveling up. Oh, yes, uh, sorry, leveling up their skill points for your characters as well. I forgot. You earn those in the the, 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 the fame stuff. And you can level up your characters. I think there's a max for everything. So once you're max level, there's nothing else you can do. There's nothing else you can get. So basically, that's also part of growing in the game and basically when your characters are max level 
that's when the fun really begins and that's when it gets equal because it, it's not hard you're gonna have to put some time into it but that's when the game becomes the funnest so to speak because it's equal for everybody um, anywho that's my two cents on the game i really like it i hope you'll play it and like it too but uh, anywho see you guys later